I'm back in the bathroom again this morning. I wanted to show you how I blow dry my hair this morning because uh, I, you know, I'm trying to show you some of the adaptations that I have to make because of my muscles in my hand and my Meyer Studio. So first of all, I want to show you, let's talk about this. I have a problem opening water bottles and I drink a lot of water. So I wanted to show you one of the things I use. I use my nutcracker. See, this is a nutcracker. I just put it on the bottle and turn it and it comes right off and I open it. So that's a good adaptation in case you don't bother anyone by opening your bottles. It can open water bottles. It can open soda bottles. It can open anything that's, you know, I have actually opened larger bottles with this and then I try to get open. So, but it's very handy for opening things if you have a Good old sturdy nut cracker. Okay, now I'm going to blow dry my hair. And uh, so I won't be talking a lot while I'm blowing dry, blow drying my hair because you probably won't be able to hear me anyway while I'm blow dry. Like I said, I'm tired a little bit this morning because I did not sleep well last night. I had some, um, excuse me, my nose always itches or something when I'm doing this video. I had some shrimp for dinner, and the shrimp, I don't know, it must have been agreed with me, but anyway. Any ready, as I would say, any ready. Uh, it, I woke up during the night and I was up probably since five, and then I went back to sleep a little later, around about seven. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to do how I use my hands. I have to use both my hands to blow dry my hair, and I blow dry my hair in the morning. Don't worry about her naturally. So here we go. You probably can't hear me. I'll be talking while I'm doing this, but you may not be able to hear me. I have to uh, hold it with both hands. I can't just hold it with one hand. I'm going to get on the floor. My arms should be kind of loose and fall down. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to hold it with both hands and blow down. I'm going to hold it with both hands and blow down. I'm going to hold it with both hands and blow down. I'm going to hold it with both hands and blow down. The two hand job where it was might not be in that arm and this time kind of very tight and I pull it back where it might would might not would be a two hand hand job for you. But for me with my Meyer Shinian arm is a two hand job. And it makes me very hot to use the dryer. So I try not to use it alone because he did not, he and my son, you don't go well together. Then I comb down my bang. My bang, I do with my, um, with my flat iron, which I can do pretty good with the flat iron to do my bang. I use the flat iron to do the bang, and I will. I have a long, um, strip on my cabinet that I plug in on my appliances so and I use the time when I do the bang I will run it up under the hair gather it up and put it like this then I will come down with the flat iron and flatten it down and then I can take the comb and comb it over because I don't like a lot of hair in my face so I comb it over and then I have a place to flat iron to the whack down here that I have to keep the flat iron on. And uh, makes it easier for me to use. So that gets my hair done. So I keep my hair natural, like I said, because it's easier for me to do when it's natural. And then uh, after that, I'm ready to go out. And I put on my glasses, and I'm ready to go out for the day. But I just wanted to show you that about the... Um, the uh, nutcracker for opening your bottles and your water bottles. If you get you a good old sturdy nut nutcracker and you won't have a problem. I, I really can't grasp the top of my water bottles and have enough uh, strength to open it. Especially some of those because some of those water bottles probably have a tight top on them. And uh, especially the one with the green top. They really have a tight top because and then the other ones are kind of small that they can't get. I can't get a grip on them. And with the hair dryer, I, uh, I dry, like I say, I have to use both hands. There are there is a time maybe once in a while I can use just um, 
one hand, my hair is sticking up in time. Let me cover that. I put my glasses on because it's bright in here. Like I tell you, I'm tired from the night before. And so, and I, when I comb my hair, I comb my hair with two hands. So I have a bigger pick kind of comb that I'll try to keep using one hand with. If I'm doing it right now, I'm doing it with something in the back back there. I use it two hands. I try to support one hand with the other when I'm doing a task like this because it does make my arms weak and my muscles in my arms weak uh, very quickly. So, the Meyer said this week is going good. I'm still working on a project on my computer. And like I said, I'm going to be talking. Oh, am I eat well this morning? From an 8 o'clock meal, I had a bowl of oatmeal. And this week, instead of drinking the moringa that I tell you, the green stuff that I normally drink, I'm putting it in my oatmeal. I'm sprinkling it in my oatmeal. And it, I don't even taste it in the oatmeal. Uh, it's a great though. It's not a good tasting drink. It kind of tastes it's kind of like mm, raw cabbage. Um, I like cabbage, but not like that. Most of the time, I cook cabbage with a lot of stuff in it. But I put it in my oatmeal this morning. And I mixed it up and had a little cinnamon sugar on the top of it. And a little, uh, I put some creamer in. I like creamer in my oatmeal. But I don't put any sugar, but I like creamer like the um, uh, honey nut, or I mean not honey nut, uh, hazelnut creamer. And I put that in there and mixed up. So I ate that all together. I think I'm going to try eating my moringa like that for a while. And I had some time at dinner. Because I don't really want anything heavy. And I'll just say, well, you know, I'm just going to make me a bowl of oatmeal, put my meringue in it, and have that for dinner. And that's pretty much all for 10 o'clock when I take my time on these capsules sometimes I have. But I did have it for my 8 o'clock breakfast. And at 10 o'clock, I just had uh, a glass of lemonade with a uh, gummy. So a couple of gummies, because I wasn't really hungry after that oatmeal. was a big bowl of that oatmeal. I had the... Um, banana nut oatmeal. I love the banana nut oatmeal and instant in the microwave. And for lunch I'm having probably some shaved ham and mixed vegetables. And then at uh, two o'clock I'll have another snack, which will I have some turkey, but I will probably just have like a piece of turkey wrapped with maybe like cheese or all wrapped inside of it. And at four this afternoon I'm planning on having some um I have some beans that I had uh cooked. I'm going to have some beans and some coleslaw because I like beans. And then I'm having at 6 o'clock, there's so much food to eat when you're doing these six long meals. There's so much food to eat. And I have some fish. Actually, I have some fish. Like I told you, I had shrimp last night. They didn't agree with it. It was like a combination plate. So I had the white fish left over. So I think I'm going to eat the white fish up and have it for dinner with a little coleslaw. And that will probably be it. But I'm going to eat small portions of all that. And throughout the day and so I'm going to show you how I do my hair and uh and how I open my water bottles and that is all for today and I will be uh, working on my project when I get it done I will be putting it on YouTube downloading it to you and uh, give me a comment so I haven't heard from any of my Myra Senior um, friends I'm gonna call you friends I still haven't heard from anyone with my senior. I did hear from one man. I thank you for your comment. Um, we talked about time release. And I uh, responded to that. And that was great. And I just wish to holler at me. Subscribe if you wish. And give me a comment. Thank you. Bye.